Well, but some people now are starting to try and spin the whole story. Gavin Newsom says that his age, Joe Biden's age, isn't a concern. No, 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 no. It's actually an asset. Have a look at this. It's because of his age that he's been so successful. It's because of the wisdom and the character that's developed over years that we have the Chips and Science Act, the Infrastructure Bill and the PACT Act and the Safer Communities Act. John Fun, do you think uh, people are really buying this when they look at Joe Biden's performance uh, in speeches and things such as the crisis at the southern border and the crises in the Middle East and all sorts of other things that seem to have spun out of control on his watch? Oh, James, remember in Shakespeare, I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. <laughs> but what, 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 what Newsom is doing is very clever. He's, of course, reminding people of Biden's age. And then in a clip you didn't show, he says, well, of course, Biden will debate Donald Trump. He'll mop the floor with him. I can guarantee the president is going to be, to be debating Donald Trump. Well, no one else in the Biden campaign thinks that Joe Biden can beat can debate Donald Trump, and they'll find some excuse that they can't debate someone who wants to destroy democracy. So what Newsom is saying, uh, if you had subtitles, is I know that Biden is completely gaga. Uh, I'm basically overpraising him in order to make it uh, appear as if I'm supporting him. But in the end, I want the job. Where do I sign up? Well, you know, I think, John, that uh, Donald Trump has dialed in on exactly what you're saying here because he has given Gavin Newsom a nickname. And, you know, he only does this when he ha thinks somebody is a target that he wants to take out. Let's have a look at this from a few hours ago. Governor Newsom from California. Isn't that his name, Newsom? Governor Newsom, what do you reckon? Well, I think that uh, pretty soon there'll be jokes about Newsom's Brill Cream haircut and everything else that's coming. Uh, I suspect the, gov the Gretchen Whitmer, uh, the Corella DeVille of Michigan, will come in for some ribbing. I think Donald Trump is on record saying he doesn't think Joe Biden will be his opponent. So he's softening up the potential successors to Biden already. Yeah. And, you know, I thought that this, too, was really interesting here just on Joe Biden's fitness. Have a look at what Corinne jean Pierre had to say uh, when she was asked about this the other day. The president has a team of doctors that is with him 24 seven and he is able to do the work. And she went on to say that uh, these uh, doctors essentially give him a cognitive test every day, one that he might not even know about. Um, are we not supposed to worry about this? Well, again, who do the doctors work for? They work for the president of the United States. They are appointed by the president of the United States. Uh, their job will continue if Biden is reelected. If it's not, if he's not reelected, their job goes away and all those cushy times working at the White House and all of the prestige and everything goes away. What is their incentive to give him a cognitive test that he might fail? Mm. Zero. Follow the money. That's always the, uh, the word in politics, isn't it? And speaking of that, just on another story, it does seem that some green billionaires are pouring money into campaigns to persuade Hollywood writers to catastrophize the climate in film and television clips. I've always sort of suspected this, but you've got new evidence. Tell us about it. Well, there's a group in Los Angeles that's held five annual conventions very quietly. It's financed by the Bloomberg Philanthropies. It's financed by the Sierra Club. And what they do is they bring together writers and producers and executives to try to figure out how to insert climate change catastrophizing into scripts. Their goal in the next few years is that 50 percent of all films and television plays in Hollywood will include a climate theme. For example, how in the world does someone incorporate an all plant-based diet uh, into his um, his meal plan uh, as part of a sitcom? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's just bizarre, but this is subtle imagery and subtle uh, product placement, I would call it, if you want to call an ideology a product placement, which is trying to warp the young minds of young people and get everyone to think, well, everyone's on board and all the celebrities are on board. The one problem with this, James, is this. Hollywood celebrities are notorious for an excessive, you know, carbon-rich lifestyle, including flying private jets everywhere. But this group has a response. 
They quote a leading climate change activist who says, hypocrisy is the price we pay for entering into this crusade. Oh, John Fund, you can't make it up. John Fund, thank you so much for your time.